It's time to shut her down. Today is the day that the dock comes out of the water for the winter and so does the floating house. <laughs> We've had lots of game plans on what we were going to do with this floating house. Like even anchor it to a rock. Yeah, we were. By the river, because it doesn't freeze. So are we getting the floating house first or the dock? I think it makes more sense to pull the dock out, pull the floating house around, tie it off to that tree, and then pull the floating house out. Keep your head done this in September. I don't have too many knots on this floating house, so hopefully it stays. We gotta move quick. Okay, so you wanna pull this dock down onto the ground first? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to, okay. so I can pull it out. Okay, so let's lift the leg. Yeah, 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 let's lift the leg. Do we yeah. have to sock it? It takes a 14. You know it's stuck on a rock. Yeah, yeah, we have to lift it up. Yeah, and forward, let's push it forward. Yeah, okay. but I'm gonna tie it off first, because if we don't tie it off first and we unanchor, then we can go out, it's windy. Fun fact. This yellow rope doesn't sink. It Polypropylene. Floats. What? Polypropylene. I lost our anchor. Hmm. We gotta go somewhere next year. Your anchor will sink. <laughs> this rope won't. Come on, Bella. Okay, this is going a lot better than I thought. We are almost done and ready to pull out both things. However, there's a third thing in the water that Crystal wants to get out. I don't necessarily think it needs to come out, but she does. So she's over there heaving. Bella, are you a marine dog or what? And if you come down here and you lift this with me, we can lift it up. Perfect. Nice. Even more if you want. Should That's I just set it there so then it's on the dock? Yeah. Now tighten. Yeah, you pull it. Pull it. Perfect. Wow, that was easier than I thought. I'm actually kind of happy we got that up. It doesn't look like we've done much, but it is a lot of rearranging, moving around, pulling things this way, tying things up, untying things, and Brain we're work. just about ready to pull it all out of the water. Our first attempt, we're going to use the ATV. We've seen quite a few people do it, and if we can't get it, then we'll call in Clementine. Go on, go. That's good. Okay, let's undo that. Oh yeah, I need a hammer. I'm removing the platform. We want to pull from the strongest part of the dock. We want to pull from these metal things. Parker up, breaks a Rooney, and in. It's pulling my ATV! It's pulling my ATV! It's a no-go. We're going to use good old Clem. Clem, the mighty machine is here to help us pull the dock out of the water. What a gem. Don't know what we'd do without this tractor. I think we say that all the time, but it's gotta love it. Listen to her purr. I want to get the floating house to pull it right now. We ran aground. Not good. I really didn't want you to have to get your hip waders on. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, you look so cute now. I was actually hoping you would. Okay, well. But first, thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's video. Some people seem to have life all figured out. And I think there's one thing they all have in common. They're in therapy. 
And it's so refreshing to see therapy working in people's personal lives. This is what first inspired me to start therapy. I wanted similar results and I've had such a wonderful experience. I've learned to be more present and I've learned that there are tools that I can apply when I need them and in turn, it's improved my life in general. And it's such small changes that make such an impact on your day, on your week or your month. BetterHelp has been a longtime sponsor of our channel because we believe that everyone should have easy access to therapy. And if you wanna be that friend or that person that seems to have things together, therapy is a really great place to start on improving yourself. BetterHelp makes it easy because it's all online. You answer a few questions and you'll be matched with a therapist within as little as a few days. And should you need to, you can switch therapists at any time with no additional cost until you find someone that you truly connect with. If you're interested in trying therapy or if you're just curious, you can visit their website at betterhelp.com forward slash fanwives and you'll receive 10% off your very first month. As predicted, these blue barrels that are unattached to our dock are giving us some trouble. So we're removing them from the dock pieces and individually pulling out each piece of dock. And hopefully next year we can come up with a better plan. Because That's probably why they're a quarter of the price. It's not so easy to pull out right now. You get what you pay for. And I think we have 10 barrels to take out of this one. We did it. The last one was easiest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to read do what they what we did. Yeah, same. Because I think straws would break, I think the poly stuff would break. Maybe this is just part of it. You get a cheap dock, but you just have to put the barrels under every year. Not a big deal. No. I don't know, maybe someone has some method. Izzy, you're so cute, honey. You like that little bed? And now I got a whole pile of barrels to clean up. <laughs> what a time, what a time, what a time. It's kind of fun. Just a fisherwoman. Uh-oh, your house is going away. <laughs> Did you lose your house? I lost my house. <laughs> Muscle woman! Who's that person with your house, Izzy? Who is that? Who is that person? But that one swims. Yeah, you're a guard dog, aren't you? Who is that? Who's there? Is that Mama Crystal? Yeah, she hears your voice now. Oh my God, is it sinking, sinking sand? There's a deep spot there. <laughs> Good work. Oh my God, that snapped. Uh-oh. Okay, oh. to be honest, after moving the dock, I think we need a little bit more of a game plan for the floating house. So we're gonna put it here right now, nicely secured, and come back to it. There comes a time in Canada where the land starts to look like winter, but your furniture looks like summer. And that has to change <laughs> or it gets ruined. And we've had a torrential downpour last night. This is my idea. Yeah, turn it all upside down for a bit. Yeah. We should almost turn all these upside down, come back in like an hour and put them away. You know, that'd be a good idea. Cause they're all just soaked. That's what I was wondering. Okay, wow. She rained, eh? She rained. This one we can just turn this way. I think it'll dry well. We're gonna let the sun do the rest of the work. Three gloves. Three? Yeah, three. And we have four hands. Come on, gorilla. Oopsie. Yes, I am sad. It is the end of the gardening era. <laughs> it's just too cold, so I gotta face it. We're also leaving very shortly and it's gonna be really nice to come home to a clean greenhouse. Yeah, not like last year. Not like a disastrous greenhouse. This is quite the mess to clean up, I have to say. Okay, all the... Starting with the tomatoes, I guess. I need a basket. Wow, there's a lot of red tomatoes on here. Oh, that slug's having a good meal. <laughs> it's so sad getting rid of these. It is sad because you grew them, we grew them from seeds and now they're going in the compost. Lemon cucumbers. 
They are cool. It's actually pretty crazy that this big thing was a seed. Yeah, these tomato plants ain't healthy anymore. You gotta face the facts. Crystal. It's too cold to be thriving when you're a tropical being. I understand tomato plants. Oh God. <laughs> They really made themselves at home, eh? They're not ready to be uprooted. I know. I gotta say though, the smell of a tomato plant, just the best smell. You know they make a candle that smells like tomato plant. Why don't you do that? What? Make a candle. I think I don't know how to do that. What? We've made candles so many times in tomato life. Tomato flavor? You just put the leaves in it. Can't be that hard. Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. She needs a rinse now that the plants are gone. You're one with the greenhouse right now. You are a cucumber. It's calling for a trip to the compost. The compost is hungry. We got all these ones to do too, eh? Yeah, girl. Of course you came over, Bella. You compost monster. <laughs> we could just lift it. It's eating! Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. We're gonna have some good soil. Yeah, girl. Nom 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 nom. Looks like the compost is a little full. <laughs> it couldn't even digest all its food this year. Wow. It's like a whole new greenhouse already. Empty. All right, now we just have this side to do. And then Chris is probably gonna clean it for 10 hours. Not a good look. Ew! <laughs> Let's just say Crystal's in a toxic relationship with her plants. Yeah. Back to her high school We're days. We're on and off. <laughs> to pull off. I think it's gonna be annoying. Maybe go from the root. Still good? Still good. You still got it, Beans. This isn't fun. Well, that one was. Looks like winter. <laughs> Empty. Cold. Come on back into the greenhouse. It is stunning and clean and ready for a new growing season next year. She's ready to overwinter. One of my favorite parts about planting in the same gardens each year is the plants that come back. This giant oregano, we're gonna chop down and of course use, but it gets bigger and bigger every year and it's just so fragrant. Jelly. Prepared for next year. Oh, I want you. See? Not as comfy without the cushions, but they're dry, ready to be put away. This was supposed to be a project this year. It didn't get to it, but now we got a place to store everything. <laughs> as you can see, we've already started storing stuff in here.
cold dip, anyone? This might be cold on your hands. I know, hold the black thing. Why? Because you're just gonna pull the whole thing off. Oh. <laughs> Told you to watch out. <laughs> Now I can wash this one. All right, that's pretty clean. Okay, I'm going to Titan. <laughs> Look how they said it. Wow. Yeah. Look how pretty the background is behind you. It's lit up from the sun, eh? That is one green tub. Are you ready? We're ready. Big IBC toast. Larry, when you come and you get them. <laughs> Clementine needs to heat up. Much better. It's really chilly the last few mornings, like easily below, it's in the negatives already, okay? And so we're gonna turn the heat pump on today in the workshop because it's time to start getting this place heated and this needs a warm up for sure. Why and do we need it heated? Well, all of our batteries and belongings in here, but also our full electrical system, which consists of batteries also, so. Off-grid system. Our off-grid system needs to be heated and kept warm. This workshop stays warm all winter, folks. And today it's sunny, so we're gonna use the heat pump. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's fun using your home power. You hear that? Heat. So everyone, it's 10:14 in the morning. We suspect that today is gonna be a very sunny day, but I have to just mention that the sun has just come up over the trees and our solar has just started to clear. It. It's a little bit shaded on one of the panels. And that, my friends, is the winter sun. And you know that solar, everyone? That's what's powering our heat pump. And if you wonder how, we made a really cool start to finish solar video. You should watch it. We turn on while we walk it over so it'll be ready for us. <laughs> Come on, dear. Let's go. Come on. inside the cabin are now turned off and we are going to drain the water that's left in them just simply by turning on the tap so we have our hot water hose cold water hose and then we also have our greenhouse hose and they go in three different directions there there and all the way there what the one woman winterizing machine means by there is the shower and there is the spa and there is the greenhouse our compressor's almost ready. There's probably not, not much in here. One. Oh, 
Oh yeah, some left in there, eh? I know it's been over for a long time, but the feeling where I'm like in my jacket, it's like getting crinkly, I'm all dressed up and it's like everything's empty and unalive. It's resting, it's not unalive. It's, it's just soil and I just, I just, rem I don't know, I'm feeling like winter right now. It's, the seasons, if you experience four seasons, are more than just a sight. They are a feeling inside and I'm feeling like winter. Should I do the hot tub now? Yeah, it's time. Oh! It's broken, it's all the trash. How many taps do you girls have out here? That's pretty good. If you don't know, in the summer months and the warm months, this is our main bathing area. This is our main shower. This is where we get clean after a hard day's work. And it is like the best place to shower of all time because the view is gorgeous and you're out in nature and it's just, just perfect. As you all know, we love our DeWalt cordless battery power tools and this is why, because this little compressor is gonna come around the property with us and do so much for us every winter. I'm currently going to use it to take the lowest point. I'm gonna put the compressor on here. It's gonna blow air through all of the lines and all of the water is gonna be dispersed out of the lines so that the lines will essentially be empty. They're gonna drain right on Crystal right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So, no, there's not that much water in it. This thing is just like, it's been so great and so easy every winter when we do this. It takes us like, what, 20 minutes, it's all done. It takes longer for the thing to set bam, up. Bam, bam, boogie. Okay. Keep going, it's coming out. Those are fake? What? No way, those are fake? They're fake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, logs, nice little trailer. We need to get a hitch for our ATVs. And my chainsaw pants. You can probably guess what we're up to. All of this wood needs to be cut down for firewood. And it's good logs. And actually our sauna and hot tub take like pretty small, well the hot tub takes pretty big, 16 inch, but our sauna takes really little. And we don't have any of that. We have all 16 inch wood, so. I think what I'm going to do first is cut a bunch and that way it's easier to start the sauna and we're not digging through all of our firewood to find appropriate wood. Fluid going in. A chainsaw. Will she overflow it? No, she won't. Did we find the chain sharpener? No. Nope. You have one? Maybe. It's like might be a bit sharper. I'm not sure. Or having it like Organize in the shed? Well, look at the garage. That'll give you a really quick answer. Yeah, that garage needs to get cleaned. Maybe we should do that before we do this. Might make this a lot better. Well, that worked out well, because uh, neighbors took their machines back. There is so much to tie up out here at the cabin, but we're never too busy to play with Bella and her buoy. Could be a children's book title about the buoy that made it from the rough seas to the yard of a happy senior dog. Can I have a kiss? Kiss! <laughs> You're the funniest dog ever! We walked the property to see how much propane we have stored for the winter. Oh my god, look at that nest. Oh, a hornet? Okay, well, what does that one say? We've got 50, 70, 70, and 70. So. We've got four huge cylinders on the side of the house here that feed our cabin. And although we don't really go through them that fast at all in the summer 
spring and fall months, they are typically reserved for the winter because although we have a gas range, we hardly touch the propane in these tanks by cooking. So almost all of this will be used for heating and it'll take a long, long time to get through. But that's because they're full. It's important we know that they're this full because the heater that we have in our cabin is propane that we turn on when we're not here. When we're here, we obviously use wood or a heat pump but this is our backup heating situation. That way we know the cabin is in tip top condition. Even if we leave for 48 hours in the winter, we know it's warm in there and we know that we're full of propane. So this is like a very big peace of mind for us knowing that these are good to go for the winter. I'm really happy that we don't have to think about that. Tidied up the yard from random objects. One last lay on the hammock. Love the hammock. Before it goes away for the whole winter. This is the best. Do I ever love containers? Yeah. Looks like everything's put away for the winter. Look at us crushing it. Nice. And to my surprise, we even prioritized cleaning up the workshop. We can't forget about the last 98%, so we replaced a sheet of metal on our roof and finished the last bit of roofing trim at the lake house. Last roof of our lives! <laughs> Don't mind the hammering. Someone's stealing our deck. <laughs> well, after long, long days, we have finally figured out a game plan for the floating home. You'll just see us do it. We don't need to explain it. Yeah, we're gonna just and then, give her. And then you don't know if we changed the game plan or not. <laughs> right. If you don't know. <laughs> we're ready to just give her? Let's give her. All right. All right, so we've got two of the old beams from the old deck. The deck that just got robbed. Just the burglars kidding. didn't want the beams. I'm just kidding. So we've got really strong chains. We got we invested in some new chains and shackles. So we've got a Y vibe where it is V-ing and then joining our long ratchet, which is gonna pull it out with Clementine. So everyone bow down to Clementine because Clementine rocks. Great. I think it just stays in the water. All right. I don't want to ruin all these floats. Three already ruined one? Maybe, yeah. I knew we shouldn't. We both knew we shouldn't have done this, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we got it. We just wanted to try. We know our lake super well. It doesn't freeze. We have a river right here. So guess what we're going to do? We built it in a thousand pound anchor. So it's staying right there. <laughs> 